Hi, Shannon back from houseimprovements.com. Today I want to show you how to remove a kitchen sink. Uh, you're not going to need very much for tools, just going to need a few basic things. You're going to need a multi end screwdriver, you're going to need a crescent, smaller crescent wrench or so, or a smaller crescent wrench, a pair of slip joint pliers, and possibly a pipe wrench. It's not too likely you'll need that, but I've got it here just in case. Um, for our demonstration today, I've actually uh, pre-cut the front of this cabinet to come apart so that you can see what we're doing easier. Uh, we're going to be demoing this kitchen anyways, so it's not a big deal. Um, but on your cabinets, this front panel, if you have one, might be a false panel that's removable. And that, if you take it off, will really help you to uh, get access to what you need to do. So on this particular one, it just has some little kind of butterfly clips on the two corners and then it will come off like that. So you can see how that, you know, in your kitchen, you might be able to get enough access just like that with that panel off. And then of course, been working from inside the cabinet, looking up, uh, you can see here some of the clamps and that we'll show that a little closer later on. So, like I said, for our demonstration, because we're going to be getting rid of these cabinets anyways, I've cut the whole front out of this cabinet to make it easier. Okay, so you can see we've got lots of room to work here. So uh, we'll just get the camera reset and then I'll begin. Okay, so here we are. We've got the front of the cabinet all opened up. You can see now the guts of the sink here a little bit better. Um, you know, right here is the tail piece on each sink coming down into the drain. This piping, generally you'll, you'll leave it in place. Um, it won't always line up for your new sink, but to start out with, I usually leave it in place. And then if you get lucky enough that your new sink will line up, you'll be all right. Otherwise you'd need to cut it off back here and reconfigure everything to line up to whatever your new sink looks like. Um, so to start out with, first thing I want to do, shut off the water. So this uh, sink here has ball valves, two different ones for some reason. So I've turned that off. I'm just going to release the pressure by turning the, no the uh, faucet on up top. Okay, uh, something else I mentioned or didn't mention, you might want just a rag or a towel or something. You probably get a few drips of water as you're doing all this. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go back in here. You can see these lines coming down right here and they attach to the water. Yours might be plastic or they might be this braided type hose. Uh, th that's attached to the faucet. Um, for most situations, you're going to have to actually take the faucet right out uh, in order to get the sink out as well. So I'm going to get right underneath here. And uh, when you go up top, I'll throw on my safety glasses. When you go up top here, you're not going to be able to really see this. Once I get it all out, you'll be able to see it a little better. There's uh, those braided lines I was showing you are uh, fastened to the bottom of the faucet. It's so just a matter of getting a hold of them. And uh, loosening that all off. There is actually a, and I, don't, I didn't bring it today, but there is a wrench for getting underneath here a little easier to undo these. I just didn't think to throw it in today. Usually once you get it started, you can take them right off by hand. Okay, so that's one. Here's the other one. Okay, so the water lines are detached from the faucet. Now on the bottom of the faucet, there's usually going to be some type of a nut, plastic or metal that holds the faucet actually down. So you just need to spin those off. Usually you can get them by hand. Okay. So now I can pull the faucet right out up through the top here. Little wiggle. There's our faucet right here. So what you didn't see me doing, 
back there. Let me just take one of these lines off so you can get a better idea what I was doing back under there. Okay, so the faucet was up sitting in the sink. These protrude down below the counter. You actually see these. This was the nut I took off that was holding the faucet on. So this was just threaded on. The countertop is in between there. So that gets tightened up to hold it down. And this is where the line was hooked, is right on the end of there. So that's what I was using the crescent wrench for up in behind there. Okay, so once that's off, and you take off the nuts on both sides, then the faucet just comes right out. Okay, so we got that out of the way. It, even on a single lever faucet, that'll be all kind of similar. Uh, so don't let that throw you off. Once you get under there and have a look, at it, it'll all look quite similar to what you just seen there. Okay, so we've got the, that out of the way. Now around the perimeter of the sink, there's going to be a bunch of these clamps. Uh, not usually on the back, but on the sides and the front. So they need to be undone. And they're usually a screwdriver type end. And they just look like this. So this little kind of right angled bracket fit up into this groove on here on the sink, mounted on the sink. And then it just simply threads through that bracket and this foot puts pressure up on the bottom edge of the countertop and in turn just pulls the sink down tight. Okay, so there, there's a few different variations but they really all work, work the same. So you need to take all them off. And I'll tell you, this is way easier without the front of the cabinet in the way. Um, you're going to find, for the most part, you're going to be laying on your back up underneath here, struggling a little bit to get at the screws to, uh, to undo them. They're not usually very tight. They don't take a huge amount of effort, but sometimes getting at them is actually the difficult part. We've got another one over here. Okay, so this sink had five. I'll just have a look at the back. Yeah, there's nothing on the back. There usually isn't. Uh, okay, so we've got the clamps out of the way. Now the next thing you're going to need to do is uh, release the tail piece, which is this part here, the drain basket and the tail piece of the sink, from the uh, this. I don't know really even what you call this. It's kind of a nut that squeezes a washer down against it. But it, it, it detaches you from the main plumbing of the sink. This one's pretty scungy. Looks like it's been leaking for a while. So we might have a little trouble getting that one off. Let's try this one. Okay, those are really on there solid. So let's try it from a different angle. We can also undo this nut it's holding the tailpiece on. Okay, so you can see that one's loose. Huh, that plumbing's even loose there. So anyways, you can see that one's free and clear. Uh, this side, I'm going to try this one with the pliers. I might have to MacGyver this one. It's pretty corroded up. Oh, here it comes. Okay, so this one is going to come off. Just get that loose. You can, you can tell when it comes off, it's, it gets quite wobbly. And you should be able to move this plumbing up and down just a little bit like that. And that should have everything free. So now it's a matter of going up top and uh, getting hold of the sink. And uh, just by kind of rocking it back and forth a little bit, it'll uh, pull up out of these plumbing pieces here. What you may have to do is just pay attention. You may have to actually grab onto this as you're pulling the sink up, just so it doesn't try to break this plumbing off uh, as you're pulling. So if the camera just stays kind of focused on these here, as far as pulling the sink up, I don't think uh, that's any big deal, but you'll kind of see what's happening down below as I do that. I'm actually going to get my flat bar. I guess you can add my uh, handy dandy red flat bar to the list of things you might want. And I'm just going to get it under the edge of the sink. Holy Moses, this one's really stuck down. Maybe the camera might want to come up here for a minute. So generally there's a, a bit of mastic or uh, even a gasket 
around the bottom edge of this. This one, this one almost feels like it's maybe been silicone down. So you can see I'm prying pretty hard. You generally never have to pry that hard. I think this one's been siliconed. So it's gonna take a little extra effort to get out. Starting to come. It's actually silicone like that. Okay, looks like we've kind of got it free now. So if the camera's looking down there again, you can see as I pull on the sink how it wants to move the plumbing around a little bit. So that's you just have to be careful not to break anything off. So I've got a bit of upward pressure on the sink. I'm just going to come down here, wiggle that pipe, sliding it down off this. Uh, tailpiece. The tailpiece will probably be about three inches long in most cases. So you just gotta work, kind of work it along until it pops out just like that. And that's just a matter of grabbing the sink, lifting it out of the hole like that. I'm just gonna set it to the side so you can see here that yes, this one, uh, whoever installed this one actually put a bead of silicone around set the sink down into it and then I guess wipe the excess off on, excuse me, on the outside. Um, okay, so I'll just show you this. If I can get this tailpiece out, I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so this was the tailpiece that I disconnected right off of the sink. Uh, this one happens to be plastic. They can be brass as well. So this was down into that black coupling and then fastened to the bottom of the sink. So there's a couple different ways, like I just showed you, that you can get that apart if things are a little bit jimmied up. So, um, so at that point, I got a bit of a drip there. I'm just gonna stick that water line in that pipe. Okay, so you, you can see we've got everything free and clear. And like I said, uh, when you go back to install a new sink, uh, this plumbing, these two sections here may not line up again to the, the sink you have. Um, so then you may have to reconfigure that. But uh, initially I just leave it the way it is. And then uh, that way as well, if it's a little bit of time until you're putting the new sink in or something. If you leave these pieces in place, you've still got the P-trap here, which is stopping any sewer gas coming up from your sewer into the home. So it's just kind of a preventative thing as well. Um, I think that's really all I can show you. Not a lot to it, but sometimes when you don't know exactly how they're put in, it's kind of nice to see it come out. And then you can see all the little pieces to it. And most, most sinks are all the same as far as those clamps and everything. So, so I think that's going to be it for, for this uh, video. Um, you can uh, see us on our YouTube channel where we have lots of different videos that uh, you might enjoy. You can also check out our website at houseimprovements.com. And uh, at houseimprovements.com on the website, we do have a forum as well. So uh, you can go in there and ask questions or browse around, and see what other people are, what kind of problems they're having or questions they're having that might correspond to what you need to know. Thanks for watching.